Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Vocal Defrag. Vocal Defragging is giving yourself the permission that is required to be truthful to yourself in the way of not accepting your being as so, but rather asking the questions and then questioning the answers. Not asking other people. Now, get off that game. No, because other people's opinions of you, they don't fill your shoes. Ask yourself the questions and then question the answers. And if you can't find a digital device to put your vocals down where we can hear your pitch, volume, and tone, as well as your emotion, then I invite you to get your hands on a journal. I do both of them. My journal is filled with so many questions. Do I care what anybody else is going to think when they step into it or borrow my paragraphs? No, I don't care. Because it's a conversation with the self that I am on the inside and not the self that they think I am on the outside. This is Vocal Defrag. Kind of a tough subject today. It's based solely on you. Which means what, right? That's a good question. Which means what? We could go for days just trying to answer that. Which means what? Now, the subject I want to cover today as I take this walk through this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, a 51 degree morning. But hey, the sky is blue. The reason why I paint that picture is because while defragging today in my journal, I looked out that window, it looked like a summer day. It looked like one of those days where you think about it and you can like take a snapshot of it and put it on the cover of a magazine because it's so beautiful. And then it occurred to me, windows can be liars. What we see out those windows doesn't match the reality of the moment. I've been in this forest when we've had a blanket of snow and when we've had several inches of snow. And I've stared out that writing window many, many times during those storms. Assuming, wow, look at this. It's going to be a very cold winter day, but I get to make a choice. And that choice is, am I going to accept the fact that I'm warm inside, but outside that window, it says it's frigid cold. It's going to really infect how I walk forward. Now, where I am right now, and what I couldn't see from that window, is that there is a dead copperhead snake right here in front of me on this path. Do I want my dog to go near it? No, because the reality of the moment is telling me there could be venom somewhere near that, that snake that has been killed. Or it froze in the middle of the night because it got down to 42 last night. But back to the window. Windows can be liars. The windows, they say, are your eyes. The windows to your soul. Oh, did I just call you a liar? I hope not. I hope you didn't take it that way. But I do have to ask you, what are you portraying or what are you putting out there for people to naturally think that this character that you are is really you? What are your windows telling the passerby? What are you telling yourself when your windows are staring at another set of windows in the bathroom mirror? What are you putting yourself into and can you recover from it if you find the truth? Notice I said, if you find the truth. Because it seems like it's very human nature for us to walk forward and find other things that define us. But we don't find ourselves. I've been a daily writer for 29 years. Does that automatically give me a certificate that says I have found myself? Mm -mm, That's not true at all. Every day I might find a little piece of myself, maybe a mustard seed, and when I do discover it, it helps me understand the process of the progress. That's why I always say, when you look at yourself in the eyes, the windows to your soul, are you lying to it? Is it lying to you? And if it is, is it enough for you to make a small change? Don't go all out and try to lose 50 pounds or 100 pounds all within a six-month period. It's going to take some time. When I turned 50 years old, it came with a quest that took a long time to conquer. Let me go back even earlier than that. July 21st, 2009, 6.15 p.m. I was in the hospital because I was having a heart attack. I was 242 pounds. My goal by the age of 50 was to lose 50 pounds, 50 by 50. But I wanted to do it 
the right way. And that was lose it in a way so it doesn't come back quickly. That meant that I had to learn how to look through the windows of my soul and see where the true story was and still is even today. Am I healthier because I took my time? I'm healthier because I've surrounded myself with incredible doctors. That's why I'm healthier. But they've also been incredible coaches in the way of making sure that I'm eating right. I don't want the windows of my soul to tell a false story. Nor do I want a false story to develop around your systems of choices. You've got a mind, body, and soul that deserves to be listened to. But if your windows aren't speaking the truth, then your mind, body, and soul aren't given the proper nourishment required to keep you healthy. While writing in my defrag journal this morning, looking out that window into that forest that I'm now in, I told myself it's a bright, beautiful day. And then I looked at the temperature on my smartphone. It said 51 degrees. That fast, my mindset changed. That quickly, I thought, how am I going to dress for this? That fast, I found myself in a place of, maybe we don't need to go out for a walk today. Because yesterday, it was 85 degrees. Right now, it's only 51. I don't think my mind, body, or soul are prepared for that cold breeze out there and that chilly temperature. I was lying to myself. Because I've been here before. I'm from the state of Montana. 52 below zero is the coldest I've ever been in. Would I ever go back to experience that? Please don't. But I've been in colder weather. And there was no way that a 51 degree day outside that window was going to force me into a lie. Lying to myself. Saying that it was too cold. Saying that we don't need to go out there because you don't need to catch a cold. All right, my wife will tell you right away, you ain't going to catch a cold from the cold. It doesn't happen that way. You got to take care of that mind, body, and soul. You got to make sure that you're taking the right supplements. But to sit there and look out that window, and although it looked like a beautiful summer day, it was lying to me. And then I started lying to myself because I was trying to come up with ways where I didn't have to go out here into this beautiful forest. And I don't know if you can hear the wind, but you know, beyond the sound of that wind, listen to the birds. Listen, because what's here in this forest is a presence of reality. Seeing the copperhead snake, the presence of reality. No lies were shared. So I invite you on this method and moment of defraying to go ahead and ask the questions and then question the answers. The question being, what window are you looking through that gives you the appearance and feeling that a lie is being shared. And if it is a lie, ask another question. Why is it lying? What are you learning from that lie so that you don't have to face that lie again? Facing your lies, looking out those windows, but I'm looking into your windows, the windows to your soul. Vocal defragging, it's not that difficult, but you've gotta have some courage and confidence to be brutally honest with that self you are. Ask the questions, question the answers. I'm Arrow, and that's Vocal Defray.